Hello, today the Maya spiritual guide Apabiante starts talking about the days of the Maya calendar, the Nawals. If you want to learn more about the Maya calendar, straight from the Maya, make sure you like, subscribe or follow the page where you're watching this video so you don't miss any content. Also feel free to share, comment and even support the channel and Apabian's work. Check in the link below. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is going to be a series in which I'm going to explain the Nawals. Um, that let me make the remark. This is not an astrology. This is not based on the stars and this knowledge is not based on mythical history sort of stuff. This is based on pregnancy. What we Mayan says about human behavior is not an astrology. It is the study of pregnancy. We consider the baby to be fully, fully conscious during pregnancy times, so every influence in the mother uh, and the, the absence or the presence of the father is going to shape that consciousness. Whenever a person is an adult, what we see as behavior characteristic of the people is based on those shaping situations during pregnancy. And we're going to begin with Nawal Bats. Nawal Bats is Nawal that we call Bats, Bats, the, the thread, also the, 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 the howler monkey. It expresses ideas of interweaving, connecting thoughts, connecting idea, building thoughts and idea by interweaving. Interweaving in bats means the capability of understanding stuff by dots, like connecting an idea that goes like here, that goes like here, that gives you the understanding of full frame of any area of, of a study. At the same time, the Nawal Bats is also connected to arts and spirituality by some sort of inclination to music, to dance, or to some to sports, because Nawal Bats tends to be strength or tend to, to, to go to domain. In the Mayan classification, that I'm going to say is not exactly the way we Mayans talk, is a masculine Nawal, uh, in the sense that it's dominant, likes to take the control, likes to have the full control in a, in a situation, likes to give the orders. It is a dominant sexual. The opposite or the other, the other phase is implosion. The presence of a bat, a woman or a man, is always with a big figure and big presence because they tend to be the leaders. They, they will always be helping and doing stuff, but at the same time, they are going to build for themselves. It's people that is always puts things in action. They are going to do the stuff and they are going to immediately begin to apply what they do. But they are also the ones that you are going to go into consultation, like, give me your opinion. Can you tell me about this? Now, well, bats got heavily experience. That's why they easily tend to be the dominant and they easily tend to be the person that, that is going to lead, to tell you what to do. What is the correct interweaving of stuff and ideas? That's not well, but in that sense. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't seen one of the latest videos, you can click here to see a Pabian talking about the Maya calendar, and you can click here to see how you can apply the Maya calendar in the Western world. Thank you so much. Again, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and I see you guys soon. Hope you have an amazing day or night.